taking the second overall or are there two of them in there? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get down! Put your hands behind your back right now. I'm sorry, it's hard to get down. I can't do a tunnel, dude. Welcome to the U.S. Criminals YouTube channel, where we explore the humorous situations of clueless criminals caught on camera. Join us by subscribing, liking, and sharing to support the channel, bringing joy and insights. If you like this video, press 1, and if you don't like this video, press 2. On November 15, 2023, four suspects lit the Glendale Police Department on a chase after stealing a vehicle. One was arrested on site, while three others fled to a nearby golf course. One of them took his chances and hit in a porta potty, a golfer who saw his promptly close the door, locking him inside. Talking about a crappy situation. Taking the second overall, or are there two of them in there? Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Get down! The escaping criminal never imagined that one day he'd find himself trapped in a portable toilet with a crowd as an added humiliation. To make matters worse, he had to crawl out of it, coated in well. The officers couldn't resist having a good time with this situation. I mean, how can anyone take a guy emerging from a porta potty seriously? After the embarrassing crawl of shame, the criminal had no fight resisting at him and surrendered. The officers arrested him and took him to the station. There's one in there? Yeah. Yeah, you need to f out. Taking the second overall, or are there two of them in there? Come out! Crawl out, dude! Don't do anything stupid! The officer must have been despising his job. At that moment, after verifying his identity, he apprehended the Maladora suspect and placed him in the back of the cruiser. Come out! Crawl out, dude! Don't do anything stupid! Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Yeah. Red, I'll show you. Will you and I walk through the I'll show you where he went in. You guys got him? Yeah, we got him. On this way, follow me, I'll see where he Can I give him the I uh, in the cart. <laughs> this is me. I commandeered a cart. Stop I'm not kidding. Huh? Are you injured at all? This might have been the most dreadful day in Philip's life. A botched car theft, a fall into the portable toilet, an arrest, and to top it off, video evidence of the entire ordeal. At least, the cop had some amusement borrowing the golf cart. Uh, last name is Stott, S-T-O-T-T. -T. Philip is the first name, P-H-I-L-L-I-P. J. Johnson Middle, male black. Date of birth is 11-18 of 01. Ready to stand up? One, two, three. Ah. Thanks. Bring him on this squad right here. You sure you want him? No, I gotta give it back to some golfers. <laughs> On February 25, 2022, Brook Park Police Department officers were dispatched to a local gas station in response to a call. The reason for the call was an unusual occurrence in the vents. Yes, you heard it right. There was something crawling in the vents. And it wasn't an animal. Thomas Clements, upon being instructed to exit, he barricaded himself in the restroom for an extended period. To everyone's surprise, when he finally emerged, he had crawled up through the vents. Bewildered police officers then questioned the gas station employees about the situation. He's been here in a while. 
He's out, he's out. Put your hands behind your back right now. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get out. I can't do a tunnel, dude. You got anything on you that we need to know about? I got threatened. I ran through. I was stuck in the bathroom. Don't move. I'm locking these cuffs. Thomas found himself trapped in the ventilation system. Realizing that crawling through the narrow vents was not only a foolish decision, but chatting with the cops while in this predicament was even dumber. Despite the police officers searching for an entry point into the vents, Thomas persisted in crawling. Stay there, we'll try to go and over here. Yeah. Yo, sir! Yeah! Can we get the key? The bathroom key? This is your Oh, I don't want to even worry about that. Oh, look. He's talking to him back there! He's got him, he's talking to him in the ceiling back there. The officers were struggling to locate an entry point. How did that guy even end up getting stuck in there? It didn't help that one of the doors kept locking on its own and the employee had to repeatedly open it for the officers. What are you saying? What's your name, man? You know what? Go, go. Peek over there. Does that vent, do you know where that vent goes? I have no clue. I know when I caught him the hey. first time and I started yeah. dialing you guys, I see his hand right reach right down here. here. That's locked, that's locked. Unlock it, please. Finally, Thomas tumbled down from the vent and the police managed to apprehend him. However, the lingering question is, what was he doing up there in the first place? Well, this guy does have an excuse for it. Did you unlock it? It stays locked once it closes. Is the guy just there? In the ceiling. He definitely went in this way because he's still on the path and he's on the floor in there. And that door's locked. I don't know. I couldn't even remember who it was to be able to tell you. I'd have to see his face. What makes you think he's up in the ceiling? I just They're got talking to him in the ceiling. Who is They're talking Kelly's to talking him. to him in the back room oh. in the ceiling. He's on top of the floor. Look. Stay here, so just in case he comes. Because if he has to go to the bathroom. Here's the key he to, to unlock it if you need to. It'll unlock both the women's and the men's. Okay. I just need it back so when you guys are done because that one's my boss's key. Sure. Um, but the handle won't twist when you unlock it, though. Just twist the key and push the door. Okay. Yes. Let me see something, okay? We're going to go see if we can flush him out. Okay. We're going to push a ladder over here. He's in the back. Check the roof. Yeah. He's out. He's here in the lobby. He's out. He's out. It seems like this guy already has a record. He's not even allowed into the city of Wellington. The situation is getting worse by the minute. And guess what? The guy finds something in his pockets too. Thomas realizes he's caught and starts giving ridiculous excuses. Put your hands behind your back right now. I'm sorry, I'm trying to get out. I can't do a tunnel, dude. You got anything on you that we need to know about? I got threatened. I ran through. I was stuck in the bathroom. Don't move. I'm locking these cuffs. Go ahead. Do I have no part? Are you in there being trouble? There's a big ass dude, I was scared as fuck. Why would you hide in the ceiling? Because there's, there's no way out. 
believe you, man. I do. Yeah, check, I believe you. Check the cameras. Yeah, I believe you. I know. I had no other reason to go up there. You got anything in your pockets gonna poke me, hurt me? No, but I might have something in my short pockets. No, but you might have something in the short no, pockets. No, I have nothing that will hurt you. Yes. What's that ankle monitor for? Uh, so I can't go to the city of Wellington. So you can't go to Brunswick? No, the city of Wellington. Sir. Wellington. The man initiates a round of ward games with the officer. Initially, he claims to have empty pockets and subsequently he asserts that he possesses nothing that could pose a threat to the officers. Nevertheless, the cop proceeds with the body search. What is this in your back pocket? Um, can I feel it now? No, it's a, it's a little jar, you know it's there. All right, look, I swear to God, it's toilet paper. Look, man, I go, look, look, I swear to God, it's toilet paper. And everything I love, that it is toilet paper. Look, man, look. don't, don't. I swear to God, everything I look, listen, listen, listen. Give me five seconds to explain something. Five, please, don't do that, don't. Can you pour water on it? Huh? Oh, he's texting me. It's gonna prove it? my innocence in a, in a different case. What is it? It's a r uh, when someone writes a statement. When someone writes a statement, what is that called? Like against yourself. A, ri a written confidence, or not confidence, confession. But it's someone else is, that's gonna get, that's gonna get me out of trouble. It's gonna get them in trouble. I swear to God, everything I love, sir, there's nothing in that jar that's illegal. I swear to God. What else do you have on you? You already told me you didn't have anything, and that's not true. No, no, no. I said I don't have anything that would hurt you, but I have something in my shorts pockets. What do you have in your shorts pocket? The police arrested him and escorted him to the squad car. But throughout the entire ordeal, Thomas continued to discuss the intimidating big man who frightened him so severely that he felt compelled to hide in the ceiling. I didn't want to surprise you. I'm not even sure if there is. I just don't want to surprise you with anything. Well, you're telling me you got something, but you don't know what, what you it is. Doing? What have you just grabbed in my pants pocket? Right down towards the floor. Right there. Whatever that is. Was that a cell phone? I think it's a phone and a watch. I honestly don't know what's on my pocket. I'm just frazzled. I wouldn't lie to you. I swear to God. Well, it appears that there were already two arrest warrants issued for him in Wellington. Consequently, the officers transported him back to the station, where he was charged with failure to comply, trafficking in drugs, obstructing official business, and possessing criminal tools. And there you have it. These individuals rank among the least intelligent ones apprehended by law enforcement. Why would I have a reason going to see him? I don't know. That's what we're trying to figure out, man. Dude, I swear to God, everything will look. Last chance, anything else on you that we need to know about. Then, It'll be worse if we find it when I we get back, all right? I want to feel my phone. That's it. That's all I feel is my phone. All right. Dude, there's no reason I go in the, in the ceiling. There's got to be a reason because you yeah, were in this. Dude, I swear to God, he's bigger than all three of us put together. You can see it on the Look face. that way, lean back. I didn't break nothing up there. I didn't cause no harm. I didn't do anything that more than I did. Join us on the U.S. Criminals YouTube channel to explore hilarious moments when criminals encountered cameras. Subscribe, like, and share the video to motivate us to bring you more entertaining experiences. Spread joy and unity through our community. Thank you for your support.